Hello and welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. This is Foundry VTT version 12. This is my testing world and in this video we're going to be looking at an add-on called Actor Studio. So thank you to Brody Morris who dropped in the comments about this particular mod. I had heard of it before but never actually played with it and it's one of those ones where you kind of go, oh, wish I had. <laughs> so as you can see, that's what I've got installed on here, just Actor Studio and Dice So Nice. I've got nothing else. There's no there's no prerequisites, there's no dependencies or anything like that for this mod. You don't need Dice So Nice, it's just visually obviously much nicer to have it. So what the heck is this for? Well, this is for building characters within Foundry and for then uh, leveling them up <coughs> appropriately. So, uh, we are going to, and I know it annoys some of you, we're going to start off by looking at the configuration settings uh, for this. And that's quite important to do it this way round because we have access to compendium sources. So, clicking on here, we can choose where it's pulling the information when it builds our character and when it levels our character for our race because this is... 3.3.1 D&D engine which means we're on the 2014 rules um, where are we pulling that from now it's good defaulting to the races SRD and for this purpose that's absolutely fine but you could see that you could go well actually look I can pull in from the DDB or from my own compendium whatever it might be but we're leaving that on the SRD for this same with where am I pulling classes from so if you've created your own compendium or if you've got um, you know, ones that you've made, your own classes, you can bring in from them as well. Same with subclasses and the same with backgrounds. So uh, that's why you need to set that up first or potentially. Enable level up. Well, yeah, if we haven't got that ticked, then we can only build characters, can't level them up. And there's a few other things here. So when we are creating characters, are we using manual input, standard array, or point by or dice rolling so I've got all of mine ticked because I want to show you them we can change what that rolling formula is so 4d6 keep the highest three um, and there's a couple of other little options in here that we might need to or we may want on right so let's 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 do this so we're going to go in here now the, one of the options is whether you have this actor studio button on the top right up here visible. You you don't have to have that open at all. Um, but you can click on that immediately to start building actor. Or you can go to your normal create actor. Bring this to the middle. Um, I'm going to call this Aaron. Mostly because it will put it at the top of my actor list. I don't know why I've got two capitals. So this is going to be Aaron, my new player character. Of course, I can select a folder, but instead of going create new actor, I can go to the actor studio. So it's just a different way of getting to here. And this is going to build a brand new actor for us, or brand new player character. So our generation method, I've got them all switched on. So I can say, oh, manual entry, and we're literally going to type them in. I can say point by in which case it's going to track that as we I want to put that up to 11 you can see my points going down so that's going to work um, we can do the standard array so that's just putting them high to lowest but I can say actually I want that 15 I'm going to move that down I'm going to move that 10 up and we can rearrange them or of course we can do dice rolls now let me just uh, bring over here so you can see that um, and let's say we're gonna now one thing it won't do Let's roll our dice. That's my 4d6. It's given me a 16. Thank you very much. I can now roll my dexterity. And actually, let me just click all of these ones quickly and it will roll all those others for us. Come on, dice. Get out of the way. Right, they're done. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so there we go. We've got our dice rolls in there. And actually looking at this, that's not too bad at all. That's a that's a pretty good cleric right there. I'm going to build a cleric just based on those rolls. Just because, why not? Now the only thing I can't do, or at least I'm not aware that I can do, is move those around. So rather than, you know, then being able to put those scores where I want to, it's just stuck there. But you could do other ways to roll if you want to use rolling, of course, and then manual entry. So... Um, 
up to you. This is quite a nice way of, for example, I just rolled all these and went, oh, blimey, okay, well, I'm going to play a cleric. <laughs> so that might be worth for you, might, might be worthwhile for you. Um, and we've got all the instructions we need on the side here. So we need to move to our race. Uh, we're going to pick a, uh, well, again, this is only the SRD ones because I'm only using the SRD stuff. So let's go with, uh, let's go with a human. And this is going to tell us a bit about that, pulling it from the SRD. Um, it's putting in our walk speed, um, it's doing our ability scores, size and everything else. Now it says languages, standard choose one. And you're kind of going, well, how do I choose that language? You're not choosing that at this point. Okay, so don't get frustrated because you can't find out how to do it. Let's move on to our background. Let's pick our background, Acolyte. Because it's the SRD, it's the only one I've got access to because I don't have the player's handbook and things like that. I haven't pulled things in using DDBI. And once again, this is going to bring us in Insight, another two languages to choose, uh, and our feature Shelter of Faith. Okay, so that's what that's bringing in for us based on that background. And we can go to our class and we can pick, we chose Cleric. We can also choose our subclass, Life Domain, and we're just at level one. So all we're doing is making those selections about our background, our race and our class. We're not actually choosing individual abilities and spells and things. Let's click create character. Now it's going to allow us to do those details. So our acolyte is giving us insight and religion. We've got no choices to make there. That's fine. Now we've got those two additional languages. I'm going to take Elven and I'm going to take Halfling, because why not? Uh, this is my Shelter of the Faithful. I don't get a choices there. Um, oh, hang on a minute. My humans, I'm going to get my plus one to everything. Now, if it's one where you've got a choice, um, you're able to make that choice here and select where you want to put your extra ability points. But I don't get that choice. That's fine. Um, I'm a human. There's no choices to make there. Here's my extra language that I need. Uh, let's also take Dwarfish, make sure we've got all of the city folk covered, pretty much. Uh, and there is my Cleric, here's my hit points, yep. Uh, my saving throws, wisdom and charisma, that's all done. Here I'm picking my skill proficiencies, I'm going to be taking Medicine and Persuasion, thank you very much. There's my armor proficiencies, again no choices to make there. My weapon proficiencies, no choices. My spell casting. Uh, my cantrips is going to now set it to three. Uh, next, because of my life domain, I'm getting heavy armor, which is great. I'm also getting my proficiency bonus, my disciple for life. And there's my character. Bosh. So even though I'm talking you through that, how quick is that? Now, of course, if you're building a character you've not done before, you might want to take your time and do a bit of reading. I'm not going to patronize you with reading out all those descriptions and things. But how quick and easy was that? And that's just based on the SRD stuff, of course. Um, so we now have Aaron. We've got our human acolyte. We have got no equipment. Um, and we've got no spells chosen. Because it doesn't include spell building at this time. Apparently that is in plans to do that. But my base character is done with all its stats and stuff like that. Real easy to do now of course i might want to go and then pick an image and you know might want to give aaron a surname and all those little details equipment and stuff lovely easy really quick to build as you just saw um what about if we're going to level up them now bearing in mind that you need to have level up automation um selected in the DD game engine if you've got that switched off this won't work um, and depending on your settings, um, whether you've got milestone or XP driven, you may or may not get this button, but you need to fiddle with that in the settings. Um, I've got this on here for milestone so that I can just click that and it's going to ask me about leveling up. Now, if you've previously looked at this and this didn't work, 22 minutes ago, a release was done that fixed this screen. <laughs> so, hot off the press, when I looked at it earlier today, it was like, this isn't working, and I put in a, a bug report, and actually it was uh, somebody else had already put in the bug report, and they'd already fixed it, they just hadn't quite released it. So, um, convenient timing, it looked like they fixed it just for me, but they didn't. <laughs> um, 
existing class I can level up or I can multi-class and add on an extra class. We're going to level up our cleric. So second level, this is what it's going to do for us. Make this a bit bigger. Um, it's going to give us our extra skills. It's giving us our list here so we can see what we should be getting. Channel divinity, um, once per rest, etc. Let's click update. Uh, now it's going to ask us about our hit points. Now you can take your average or you can roll and get worse than the average. But there we go. That's the, <laughs> that's the risk you take. Uh, there's my channel divinity uh, with my turn undead ability. Um, I'm moving from oh, channel divinity uses from zip, from none to one, which is fine. Um, and I've got this preserve life come in, and there we go. This is now a second level character, uh, and I have got those extra bits in. There's my channel divinity preserve life turn undead, um, and all put in one out of one uses on that channel divinity. So. If you've got the right compendium stuff, leveling up is suddenly really, really easy. Now, for my Curse of Strahd guys in that game, they have just reached a point where they're going to level up. Next session, first thing we're doing, leveling up. And suddenly, this is potentially going to make that really easy to do. Um, <clears throat> I just need to make sure I've got the right options and the compendiums and everything set up. And I'm actually going to level up a couple of them um, behind the scenes and then de-level them again just to make sure that that's working. But it means they can do it themselves as well rather than, right, everybody sit around bored while I spend 10 minutes, 15 minutes going with this person and then choosing their spells and everything else. It just eats into session time. So this might be a really, really quick way to be able to do that. Nice and smooth. And you don't need to know all of the rules and every single thing because it's going to prompt you. And I like that. Because, you know, somebody's playing something, somebody's playing a, a, a monk with a particular subclass that I've not played before. I can't remember. And I don't want to remember every single rule for every single subclass. Um, so the fact that this is going to do it, pulling straight from the rules as written, lovely. Thank you very much. I love it. Um, and I suspect if you've got things like Tasha's, you would want to be including those compendiums on there as well. So nice and easy, lovely, lovely stuff. Now the question becomes, we have been looking at the 4.0 D&D &D game engine. This is 3.3.1. We've been looking at the 4.0 with the 2024 rules. So we're going to hop over to that version of Foundry and have a look and see if this works there with the 2024 PHB rulebook as that compendium rather than the SRD we've got for the 2014 rules. So I will see you over there in just a few moments. Okay, so we're back and we're now in the Foundry version 12, my alternate install, which is on the 4.0 game engine for D&D. &D. And as you can see, I haven't even got Daiso Nice installed for this one. I've just got the Actors Studio and the 5th edition uh, with those core rules in. Um, so our compendium sources for this. Now... I'm not confident this is going to work. It was really, really early days, okay? So, but I'm I'm willing to give it a go and be really amazed. So straight away, race compendium. Well, we don't have race anymore. We have species, don't we? But uh, we have got the player's handbook. So character origins from the player's handbook. That makes sense. For the classes, character classes from the handbook. That makes sense. For the subclasses, well, that's going to be within the character classes from the handbook um, and the backgrounds from character origins. Now, of course, you know, we've got feats, spells and equipment on here, but this is not what this um, mod is at the moment able to do. So I just need to make sure I've got things like my level up is enabled here. Uh, I've only got standard array. I'm just going to use standard array for this one. Um, not going to worry about rolling. That's not a problem. Uh, duh, 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 duh. I'm going to put milestone leveling on just so that I can override and just do that whenever I want, which is good. So let's try. Hi, sorry, man. What you just been beaten up over there. <laughs> All right. So let's go and create an actor. This looks the same. Let's create Aaron again. 
uh, actor studio thank you very much and this is where we can fiddle around and change what we want where we want to put it let's put that 14 down on our wisdom um, I'm actually I want that 13 I'm gonna put down this is slightly fiddly because obviously it rearranges all of the others I want that 14 on wisdom that will do very nicely thank you so now select our race Okay, it's picked up the correct races for us. That's nice. I like that. Thank you very much. I'm going to go with a human again. This all looks good. So it's picking up these human traits of resourceful, skill, and versatility. Skillful, I'll get to choose one later. Um, versatile, I'll get to choose one later. This is looking really promising that this is already working. So backgrounds, we can pick our background. Um, let's not go with Acolyte this time. Let's go with something else. Um, let's go with the Charlatan. Just because. Why not? And we're picking up the correct descriptions and everything, which is really good. Um, everything here looks really, really awesome. Nothing is flashing up as being wrong. And let's create our Cleric again. Uh, we can pick a subclass. Now we've got access to more subclasses because we've actually got the PHB installed. Let's go with the war domain just because. Um, and no other decisions to make on here at this point. We can go to create character at the bottom right. Now is where we are making those decisions. So we can, your background allows us to increase dexterity, constitution and charisma. One of them by two. Um, and a different one by one or all three by one etc uh, well we're going cleric so I'm going to hello oh I can't do wisdom of course stupid boy <laughs> let's whack um, one onto constitution and two onto our charisma there we go so it's preventing me being an idiot from <laughs> from doing the wrong thing which is nice I now get to pick some of my uh, my my traits here. Uh, it doesn't matter what I pick for this purpose. Excellent. My languages. We are going to randomly draconic and giant. Um, our background gives us forgery kit, deception, and sleight of hand. Great. We are skilled. Fantastic. Um, because we're human, and in 2024 rules, we get to choose whether we're small or medium human. We're getting our skillful. Um, let that be in. Um, survival again it doesn't matter is our resourceful skillful and versatile lovely we get to pick our feet uh, let's go with uh, let's go with alert just why not it's at the top and then we can click complete on there now it's going to do our hit points max at first level wisdom and charisma are our saving throws we get to pick some skill proficiencies again we're going to have medicine and history uh, there is our armor training, light, medium, and shields, our simple weapons, our spell casting, our divine order. Um, you have dedicated yourself uh, to one of the following. So we get to choose divine order, protector, or thaumaturge. Okay, let's go with protector, why not? Um, again, it's going to give us our cantrips, it's going to give us our prepared spells. Bosh, we have a character sheet. So without going back to the PHB and checking really closely that that has worked correctly because I'm not familiar with the rules I've read through but I haven't built this cleric right with the with the book open next to me checking that this has done it all correctly so you know I can't imagine there's any problems but it's worth checking isn't there uh, we've built our character we've got our stats in lovely jubbly thank you very much you know that's not a bad cleric at all actually just throwing those things in yep we've got no equipment that doesn't happen yet um all of these things have come in that's great we haven't got any spells yet we know about that as well but we're gonna we can drag those across from the um from the the correct compendium we can go to the player's handbook um we can go to our spells we can go right cantrips what cantrips do you want oh i'm gonna have uh, you know what whatever it might be we're gonna take guidance we chuck that in yeah we've got our guidance uh, we're going to take light. Uh, we're going to take mending. You know, whatever it is, we can just drag those over. So that's that's not a big deal, is it? It's not not a massive problem. Uh, it's brought in our passive effects here for these things. So that all looks lovely. Now let's just check about leveling up. Um, and ah, how interesting. 
so this is the this is the bug that was in when I tested it first thing this morning um, and it didn't level up properly it did this and then you like hello hello it's not doing anything so creating characters in the in the 4.0 using the 2024 rules absolutely works at the moment there's a small bug with leveling in 4.0 with the 2024 rule book <laughs> um, that clearly isn't working i'm going to report that back of course um, and they can have another little look at it again really really early days for the 4.0 game engine with the 2024 rules so let's not be um let's not be panicking but i built the character and in the 3.3.1 game engine using the 2014 rules um, yes I was only using the SRD but that worked perfectly and it leveled up so there we go um, and that's a bit interesting we've got this with some of these mods now that have a foot in each camp uh, because some of you hopefully you haven't jumped and moved to the 2024 in the 4.0 just yet because you'll be making your life quite difficult for yourself um, but this clearly with these little bugs will work in both which is exactly what we want the principle of building a character and getting the right information from the right source it's there so a really nice little mod does it change your world it might do depends how much you struggle with making your characters um it's a really nice little quality of life mod uh, it's definitely one that I will be considering moving forward using because, yeah, that's just really nice. So, again, thank you to Brody Morris for pointing that one out. Um, lovely, lovely little addition. So, thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Leave a like, leave a comment, all of that good stuff. Subscribe. If you hit the little bell icon, you'll be reminded of any videos as they get released. And if you don't want to be spammed by that, do you know what? Subscribe anyway. Just don't click the bell and then you won't get spammed. You help out the channel. Everyone's a winner lovely jubbly and once again thank you to all of the members especially the new members to the channel really really appreciate your support it's fab and uh, i will see you guys in the next one